I'm Bishop Robert. Each life is a story. We don't remember days, we remember moments that touch our hearts. I want to invite you to come on in and have a seat in my study. Let's you and I spend a few minutes together and consider a verse of scripture and how to apply it to those moments that fill up our lives. My hope is that it speaks to your heart, your mind, and your soul. And I hope you'll be back often. Welcome. You know, sometimes getting a notice you've been selected for something is a, yeah, right, moment. But at other times, it's exciting news. There's a company in the U.S. that sells magazine subscriptions via sweepstakes and prize-based games. You get a, a large envelope that says something like, Mandatory Notice to Imminent Winner that has uh, official-looking stickers and, and bold red statements like, Final Step Required. I mean, they, they make it look for all the world like they just need to know where to deposit the first of your $9,000 a week for life winnings. <laughs> I mean, how foolish do you have to be to believe that? That's one of those, yeah, right, moments. You know what they say, if it sounds too good to be true, probably is. Well, of course, there are some envelopes that come in the mail with notices you cannot ignore. They really are legitimate. They have markings on the outside that let you know you've been selected for jury duty or some such thing. If the notice comes from the tax authority in your country, you could be about to find out that you owe a pretty hefty bill that you had no idea was coming. Whew, that's never fun. Well, here's a situation where you were actually chosen for something of real value. Yeah, you. Today's verse is an important announcement. You were chosen to be free. Now, you may think you're already free and be tempted to kind of slough off this news. But don't be too hasty. All of us have a significant debt hanging over our heads, and trust me when I tell you, you don't want to be the one to pay it. It's the bill that's coming due for the price of your sin. Now, I don't know the due date, neither do you, but it is coming. So I guess that's the bad news. But like the envelope from the tax authority, ignoring it won't help. That approach changes nothing. Your final debt is still coming due sooner or later. But what does totally change the situation is the out of the blue notice that you've been chosen to be set free. That's amazingly good news because Christ's Incredible gift covers more than just the, the final debt looming on the horizon. His gift sets you and me free from so much more. His gift is large enough to cover every need you have or will ever face with plenty to spare. It can cover fear, anger, and doubt. Totally eliminate Hatred and unforgiveness, those cancers that rot your life from the inside out. His gift replaces mourning with joy, heaviness of heart with a song of praise. Why, you're better off than the Moldovian journalism student named Sergei Sudev. He had all but forgotten about an elderly German uncle that he'd only met twice, hadn't seen him or, or had contact with him in over a decade. Well, he may have forgotten about his uncle, but his uncle never forgot about him. And when he passed away, the uncle left Sergei 950 million euros. <laughs> well, he, he didn't believe it initially. But when the official agents showed up at the estate with a certified check and placed it in his hand, it erased all doubt. Now, that's a gift large enough to cover every need he had or will ever face with plenty to spare. But the gift God wants to put in your hand is better than his. 
God himself has chosen you and made you an offer that sounds too good to be true, but it is. You were chosen to be free. The gift is given. The inheritance can be yours. Now, we who've already placed our faith in Christ have obtained an inheritance of massive value and great worth. We were chosen long ago according to the purpose of him who works all things according to the counsel of his will, even though we had no idea of his choice. We who have already placed our hope in Christ now use our inheritance to the praise of his glory. But what if you haven't placed your trust in him yet? Well, friend, your name is in his will too. And if you respond as you hear the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, and believe in him, you can claim the inheritance he has for you. You'll be sealed with the promised Holy Spirit, who's the guarantee of your inheritance. Now, maybe some hurt or pain caused you to pull away from your relationship with your Heavenly Father. Perhaps it's been a decade or more since you've been in contact. But he hasn't forgotten you. You know, if we had a little more time, I could tell you about the three homeless kids who inherited $4 billion from a grandmother they had never met. Maybe you've never heard of God, a God who loves you so much, he's left you an inheritance worth far more than mere money, whatever the amount. The bottom line is this. Whether you've walked away from your relationship with God or never had one before today, you were chosen to be free. But there is a final step required. So think of me as the official agent of someone who left you an inheritance. Hey, I'm even in uniform. <laughs> you and I are sitting here together and I've got the check with your name on it in my hand. You want it? Thank you.